in this video, I want you to learn two things. There are two things to master in Forex. Number one, the trend of the market. Number two, supporting pattern. If you go through this video very carefully, slowly, you will understand what I mean. So the number one thing I've said you need to master in the Forex chart is the trend. What do I mean? If you open your chart, which trend do you think this? Comment down below, what do you think? Uh, uh, gauge yourself, like if at all this was a trend, and this is daily time frame. This is an easy trend. You don't need even to struggle to know what the market is doing. So the trend is sell. Sellers are in control. Between buyers and sellers, sellers are in control. And the trend is downtrend. Because you need to know we have three types of trend. We have an uptrend trend, an upward market, an uptrend. And then we have a downtrend. Uptrend is where buyers are in control. Downtrend is where sellers are in control. And then we have ranging market or sideways market when you have ranging market is the market that people call it consolidation is when sellers and buyers have the same strength so the first thing that you that you do when you open your chart at least you want to always be the side of whatever the trend is and i have seen majority of us retail traders even myself included when we see or spot a trend that has really sold we try to think that this market is oversold and we try to look for reversals. Let me tell you, it's not easy to look for reversals. Reversal, there is a way to trade reversal and I think I'll do that video very soon. But today, if you find a market that is on a downtrend, so the first thing that you need to ask yourself or to master is how to spot a downtrend. So you need even to have like a journal where you will be writing this is what I'm finding in the market. I found it having a downtrend. So I'm interested with the sell market. And then look for a pattern that is supporting that downtrend. So here I've written, if the market is on a buy trend, an upward market, the pattern that support buy, it's a double bottom. If, for instance, our case, the market is on a downtrend, sellers are in control, the sell trend, the what support is a double top. So imagine, Coming here to try to trade without a pattern, it's very, very hard. And again, if you only, again, use one time frame, again, it is very hard. Why? Because this is a trade that you will be spotting zones. You can say that's my first zone for a double top. Why? Because if I want to sell with the trend, I need to look for a double top. So the first instinct will, will tell you look for closest double top possible. And you can see here, I'll just pop, spot out three zones. You can spot out three zones that you think if the market can come to these three areas, you can look for a sell that has high possibility of giving you profit. You know, we don't enter every trade. We always trade the trade that will give us at least high returns. So if from the buy side, if the market comes here and breaks that resistance, continue to break that resistance, we are even hoping that the market can come here and now again reject. And the market can come to the first resistance and create a double top and drop. So when you mark out the zone, you're not biased where you want to place your double top or where you think the market will stop. There is no way you can say, oh, Buyers are not able to break the first top. You can't say like that because you don't know the strength of the buyers. So you need to be prepared because this is a daily, you will be coming every day to check what has happened. Every single day, you open your chart and check what is happening. The fact is we are not looking for a buy because our trend is sell. I hope that we are in agreement. So we are only looking for sell opportunity. And again, I said, you cannot look for sell opportunity if you don't have a pattern. And the pattern that we are using for a sell opportunity is a double top. And in this case, it's a possible double top. These are some of the zones that you can have double top with daily. So I used like two years ago, I used to trade like this. I used to wait. And let me tell you, you will wait and the market will never. So what would, I, <laughs> let me just give you like a quick uh, what I used to do. So because now I have 
uh, spotted my zones like that, double top. So I'm waiting, I'm coming every day. Uh, when I when I come every day, that's what I find. So the next day I'm thinking, what made that market to go down? Okay, maybe it will still go up and the market does not go up and it leaves my double tops hanging. Can you see guys? So the question is, what really made this market? What, what is wrong with our analysis? Because that's how I used to trade. Why were they not triggers? Why were they not triggers? Why did this market sell? Let's see how many pips. From where we wanted the market to activate our possible double top, it is sold with 850 pips. Wow. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. So the question is, what was wrong with this trade? Why couldn't... Uh, and I know, comment down below if you have ever uh analyze like this like you're hoping for your double top to be activated and the market leaves you hanging like countless times this was my scenario until i discovered something called time frame alignment so yes there's there are two things that you need to to master to master in forex like the two things that you need to master in forex uh, there's the trend and there's the number two is the supporting pattern. But number three, and this is what I teach in my course, guys. And I keep telling you that time frame alignment is not easy to teach when you, you are not concentrating. Like I have modules where I have really uh, concentrated. So time frame alignment is another jam that I have. I have for my students. So time frame alignment is very, very powerful, guys. If you only know what time frame alignment means, you know, some people they just think, ah, oh, when she's talking of time frame alignment, it doesn't mean anything. And um, you would have lost that opportunity just because of not aligning. So the reason why I didn't include this, it's because I want I just want to show you the power of time frame alignment. Even if you have the you have mastered the two two things to master the trend of the market and the pattern, the other key goal is time frame alignment. So it's either you come here on YouTube and try to figure out people who have done videos on time frame alignment, or you buy my course. It's two things. My course is only four hundred dollars, and you'll have a module uh, talking of time frame alignment. Or you just listen to this video, and maybe I'll give it for free. Now. Time frame alignment. Yes, I have my three possibility, but the question is, have I gone to the four hour to know what might be there? Because in between these zones, in between this zone, I might have something unique. So when I go to four hour, when I go to four hour, and um, I'm thinking, why did this market stop? Why did this market stop all of a sudden? Because the market was buying very well, and we can see a red candle, meaning the market has stopped moving. So when I look on my left, when I look on my left, guys, what do I see? I see a pattern. Can you see? I see a pattern. So when I look on this left, I see a pattern. But unfortunately, our pattern has been violated. So I'm thinking uh, it can't be because of that double top. But what if they are coming here? So I'm left with what if they would activate that. So I will delete this one because already it has been activated. And I'm thinking there's nothing that is making this market to, to it. Yes, it has broken that resistance. But for me to even pay attention on it, it has to activate my second zone. Can you see? But this zone that I'm seeing very clear, and let me change this color to blue so that you can identify that zone is from four hour. The zone that I'm seeing very, very clear, when I go to the daily time frame, there is no green red candle, there is no resistance. So meaning, even if you stayed on daily hoping for a miracle to happen and you didn't flip on four hour, this trade you could not have entered in. So now I have understood that this double top is very unique. So I will wait for activation. You can see 
instead of waiting for activation on that area, I am waiting activation on that, something that many people don't understand. So you can see where I'm waiting my activation rather than above there. Why do market makers or banks or whoever control the market does this? Because when your majority people who trade daily, they can spot these zones. So they have to mix time frame so that you might, if you don't pay attention, you will be left behind. So I'm just hoping my trade will be activated. So there's nothing much I am doing. I'm not doing much. And I'm hoping my trade will be activated. So I have, I have that trade like that. And it's almost activating, almost activating uh, the double top. And can you see, guys, what has just happened? The candle, the red candle left an activation. You can see, don't know if you can see, it has activated the double top. So now I'm wondering, we have a possible double top that is OPT that has been activated. And if I can look very carefully, we have CRB here. So you already know on four hour we use CRB strategy, not CRB, CSB strategy, current support break. And then we want to measure half. So this double top, if you waited for it on the daily, it was not possible. So what, is, what has made it a difference is because of uh, time frame alignment, aligning daily you and four hour. So the market has broken the half and you come and enter short position, you come and enter to the neckline. So you're thinking, let me see if the market will hit the neckline. So the market hits the neckline. You can see guys, after few days, because you entered here, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's one day, one, two, three, four, five, six, two days, one, two, three, four, two and a half days, you'll take profit of how many pips? Take profit of 151 pips is uh, done. Now you already know that the neckline was broken. Imagine you're no longer doing time frame alignment because this pattern alone it is OPT. When you have OPT one pattern on one time frame, you don't need to do time frame alignment because it's only that pattern in that time frame. And pattern we don't go lower. You can't just go to two hours one hour. From four hour you go to daily. From daily weekly. So if daily there is no pattern and it is on four hour, you can't go lower. So neckline break. Neckline BOS, when we have neckline BOS, what do you think, guys? Um, the market will go this distance. The market always goes this distance. See, so the market always goes that distance. So if this market goes this distance, like that. And, um, because this, it can give us a complete double top. And a complete double top, it means it has four take profit. TP1, TP1 is at the half, and then TP2 is at the neckline. And then TP3 is the half of the distance. And then TP4. So when the neckline is broken, the market will always retrace. The market will want to do a retracement. And that one I will, uh, after the retracement, you just enter. But once the neckline is broken like this, automatically that market is going to TP3. So short position, short position up to there. So this is another trade, trade two. So let's see what happened after the market um, gave us, after the market gave us um, a neckline break. So what really happened to this trade? Did it hit TP3? So TP3 was hit. And you see guys, TP3 was hit. 
So TP1 was hit, TP2 was hit, all because of time frame alignment, all because of a double top with the OPT. If you want now to trade TP4, it's not a must, it's not guaranteed, but you will look for a support. If, you, if a support is created, you wait for that support to break. And if that support is, will break, you can now enter. Like here, we have a support break. Uh, we have a support created because of red green. Now we are targeting TP4. And you can see we have a break there. So that's how you enter TP4, but always be careful because it's not guaranteed. So if at all we were looking the success rate of this trade, how would we say the success rate of this trade was? Apart from the CSB uh, position to half, we didn't get TP1, we got TP2, TP3, and TP4. So all along, we got how many pips? TP2, we got 157 pips. TP3, we got 151. That's almost 307. And then the last but not least, we got 187. That one was huge, 187. So 300 plus 187, that's 4, 480, almost 500 pips. Just mastering time frame alignment. I cannot emphasize enough. You guys, you need to understand one thing. There are some things that when they are engraved in your spirit or in your mind or in your brain, it cannot leave you. And that's why I highly suggest it's either you really soak yourself with free material or you buy my course that I have already, like I've already done all, everything for you like time frame alignment i'm explaining in details everything that you don't need to struggle but even if you don't have money for my mentorship course this video alone can really speak volume i'm just trying to show you how easy trade like this trade was very easy and you can trade so many times and you fail but let me tell you there's on there's one that trade that you will enter and it will be successful all the best, guys. I love you so much. I hope people are making money. January and 2024 is your year to make money, to be profitable, and to change your story. Bye-bye. God bless. Love you.